Hey everybody, it's KK, she, her, we're at Mexico in Epcot for the Grand Fiesta Tour with the three caballeros. They sing, they shout, I caramba, inside the pyramid. Yeah, so Mexico has this great, it looks so good. It looks good in game, but it looks really good in real life, honestly. It's like a Mexican style pyramid. Oh god, I don't want to say a culture because I'll probably get it wrong. But yeah, it's it's like a replica of a pyramid, and you can go inside, and you can get super drunk and climb on top of it if you want to be banned from the park for forever, but you can also just do it on the game with no consequences, so... I say if you if you have a desire to climb the pyramid, just do it here. But yeah, let's get going inside. Um, there's an exhibit here in real life on the Day of the Dead. And then we come in here, and it's like... It's so neat because it's, it's, it, it's one of those moments where you go out of the Florida heat and you enter here and you're just, for a second, you're just in another place where you're actually in like a Mexican market. Plaza de los Amigos. You could get uh, your sombreros and Mexican flags here. They've got some cocoa merch in the game. Got a place to get tequila over here. Uh, no tequila in MC Parks though. <laughs> good plan. Good plan, honestly. They've got a Mexican shirt like we have on. They have this nice San Angel El Inn, where you can have a bite to eat. And you can look out over that river, and there's a volcano there, and it's it's a nice atmospheric... We don't like eating here. <laughs> we have never been a fan of eating here. They have some good food. We will say the food is good. It's just not for us, and we don't really care to eat in the dark, and it's kind of dark here. It's not as dark in the game, but the, in real life, these are kind of your light sources on the table. And we're just not one for it. I know, I'm doing all the looking around before the ride. I'm really getting y'all hyped. But there's some, there's quite a few shops in here that sell different things in real life. They don't, they all kind of sell the same thing here, but... Well, that's a free copy of backpack. That's so cute. I love it. Okay, let's get on the ride. Let's get on Gran Fiesta Tour with the three caballeros. We've got Jose Carioca, we've got Donald Duck, and we've got Panchito. Who's your favorite? I kind of, I, we kind of like Panchito best. I think Panchito might be our favorite. Why do we have our magic band up? Oh, yes, this, this like, um... Frozen. Actually, I need that up for subtitles. This like Frozen used to be a different ride. This is basically a, the same as the ride before used to be, honestly. Like, about all the elements are the same. It's just they put the three caballeros in. He thought that was real smart. Like, it's it still feels educational in the same way the original one does, which is to say it's mostly a tourism video for Mexico. <laughs> But, you know, it's, it's nice. Um, I think they really should have done something like this more with uh, Frozen and Ratatouille, where it still stays more educational. It's just the characters are presenting that information to you now instead of random people. Are you sure to wave at? No, nobody's eating. <laughs> See, that's part of the fun part of this ride. You gotta wave at everybody. God, we can smell these boats. We can feel this style of boat. This is the same boat style they use on, like, pirates and It's a Small World. It's just that hard plastic seating. You could smell the water. Nah, that's good stuff. It's real good stuff. Yeah, it takes a second to actually get in. You gotta... So you roll past the volcano first, but now we're going to get in, and we're going to see the three caballeros. So yeah, so the plot is Donald is off during tourism, and so Jose and Panchito start looking for him. And these are all screens on the actual ride, and they did a real good job turning these screens into actual things here. We are very impressed with this. 
<laughs> you kind of you kind of have to know a little how it looks normally, but I think they did a good job. Given, like, turning screens into a 3D thing is not easy. Oh, there's supposed to be an angel statue up there. Oh, this is a whole, this is a whole, like, small world style area, too. This is also about the same as it used to be. Except now they're playing the Three Caballeros theme, and Donald's getting beat as a pinata. Someone! Is that a guest yelling Donald in the audio? <laughs> Ay caramba, what means ay caramba? Oh, that's meant to be like a boat. <laughs> I like how it's the bed though. It's a little chaotic on the right, but I do, on this version, but I do think they captured it so well. Given what, again, given what they were working with, it's very good. I would look at the actual ride to kind of get a better feel, because I can't point to every screen and be like, oh, that's what that is, though. that's what that is, you know? <laughs> well, this is McDonald's in the uh, water. He's doing some scuba diving. Maybe just snorkeling? I think he's just snorkeling on the ride, actually. He goes back and forth between the screens and they got that down. No, it's so good. They did a good job. I love, I, we're just impressed with how they did this ride. It, it's, it's another one we just like to ride all the time. A little quiet area here. Don't worry, we get to the grand finale soon. How is everybody doing today? We're doing all right. Like, the nice thing about Grand Fiesta Tour, it's a nice sea, sea ride, you know? Like, it's not one everybody's going to rush on to. But it's it's always a fun one to just sit and relax for a minute. Disney needs more ride, relaxing rides. They're always making e-tickets nowadays. Here's the, uh... So they used to have a screen here, but then they got pulled these animatronics out. And these animatronics are kind of infamous for breaking down because they're like 50 years old. They probably shouldn't have grabbed the, them out. They should have stuck with the screen, but it is it is cool to actually... Ah, uh, we like having an animatronic, and even though it's an old animatronic, there's still a good animatronic at the end. And then... It's like... On the ride, there's a map of Mexico here, pointing out all the areas. <laughs> Love Donald screaming in the background. Viva Mexico! Oops! <laughs> I didn't mean to pull out Norway while saying that! Viva Mexico! Yeah, this is a, this is a good ride. This is another one we recommend. It's... It, it's just a nice... It's a nice kickback ride. What, make less e-tickets, make more rides like that, Disney. But also, MC Parks has, of course, done a great job translating it. Translating the feel of this whole area. Oh, whoa, whoa, too high, too high. Oh, boy. Okay, gonna turn off chat. Gonna take a look at this volcano. Just because I wanna... Maybe this is... Maybe it's another pyramid and then that's the volcano over here? I don't remember. Now I'm unsure of myself. It, it looks nice, though. It does look nice. Can I? Yeah, they tend to block these off so you don't go standing in the ride area for other guests. <laughs> okay, let's take, a, let's take another look outside before we finish. It's just such a... So wild just going from the market back into the real world. Uh, this is a... This is a pretty good restaurant here. This is the Mexican restaurant we like. This one's quite good. Again, I think you can... Well, I guess it depends where you are. We can definitely find good Mexican food around us, so I don't think you need to be eating Mexican food at Disney, but you know. 
Well, when I when we say that, we just mean we kind of plan our restaurants like based on, you know, the specialness of the food, and we've got some we've got some nice Mexican restaurants around. But I could see this being a very nice place for a lot of people, especially especially tourists who have come from other countries, not America. You can walk around. Uh, here's a margarita stand over here. Again, no margaritas in MC Parks. And this place. This is a nice little, you can get a margarita and you can chill over here. Do not go here, by the way. <laughs> Never go here. Uh, we, we went here once where we just got some drinks. I don't, I don't remember if we had some chips too, but we just got drinks. There's like a thousand seagulls here. And we're watching this, this kid, like, eating chicken tenders. They, they hold one up, and the seagull just comes by and snatches it. This is, this is a fight zone. If you want to have a death match with the seagulls over your lunch, then this is a great place to eat. But we don't, we don't recommend it. This is, this is hell. <laughs> right here. Don't go here. And that is Mexico in MC Parks. It's pretty good. Oh, it's the three caballeros. This must be the, uh... Flower and garden stuff set up. Yeah, and this is the entrance to the world showcase. And if you go past Mexico, you're right back in Norway. Um, I think I don't know if we're gonna do a world showcase video, a whole world showcase video, because just because there's no rides, but. If you would like to see one, comment, and we will show off the rest of World Showcase, but... I think next time in Epcot, we will go back to Future World and check out the rest of the rides there. So, we will see you next time for more MC Parks, and we hope you had a good time with the Three Caballeros. The, the, Elsa, the way the Elsa dress moves as pants... Interesting. Very interesting. Anyways, uh, that's all for today. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye.